The relationship between Jonas's father and his grandfather is revealed to be strained at the start of the film, which takes place at a funeral. Four months later, while traveling on a deserted road, Jonah's parents are struck by a black car traveling at high speed, causing their car to crash into a tree and killing both of them instantly. Jonas is abandoned and internally torn apart. At his parents' funeral, where his friend Nina is watching over him, he begins to cry. Nina learns that Jonas will reside in Bavaria following the funeral of her parents. Nina is devastated by this. Friedrich appears out of nowhere and extends an invitation to Jonas to stay at her home until he turns 18 at that point. Yes, he replies. Nina is glad that Jonas will be with her as well. After a year, we catch up with Jonas at his school, where a new teacher named Miss Helena Jung starts working there on the first day. The new, stunning teacher astounds Jonas and the entire class. Mr. Maynick, who previously taught German, has had an accident. Helena informs the students as she drives them all to the beach. Helena will now fill his position. Helena invites a few of the boys to her new house after she hears this and notices how happy the boys are in the mines. This will help Jonas and his friend Florian say yes. When Nina sees Jonas, she also decides to assist. When they arrive at Helena's home as a group of three, she keeps Nina away from her friends and makes her life difficult with additional tasks. However, Nina starts to worry that something is wrong and looks for proof in the storeroom when Helena appears out of nowhere. Nina avoids it and claims that she was looking for a piece of wood. Soon after, Nina begins bleeding from her injured leg, so she and Florian head to her house. Jonas also heads out. Then there is a turn. Additionally, we witness Helena burning a sizable number of Jonas-related photos. But why does Helena possess these images? What is Helena keeping a secret about? Helena runs into Jonas the following morning, and he tells her that he enjoys writing poetry on the same day at school. Helena requests that each student compose a poem. In the evening, Jonas has the chance to showcase his skills. While having dinner, Nina visits the Jonas home and tries to demonstrate Friedrich Jonas's writing prowess. Yet, according to Jonas' grandfather, a writer has no future. After reading Jonas' poem, Friedrich concludes that it contains nothing. Although Friedrich disapproved of it, Jonas' father also desired to pursue a career as a writer. Helena extends a personal invitation to Jonas the following day after school, saying she would like to read all of his poems with him. When Jonas gets home from work that night, he finds Helena undressed and about to take a bath. Helena then begins sobbing as she reads the poems. When she sees Jonas, he gives her a kiss. Helena accepts him, and they both choose to spend the evening in this manner. The following morning, Jonas and Helena commute to school by bicycle. Nina, however, spots them from behind some bushes. Jewel, a friend of Nina's from school, starts to have suspicions that Jonas and Helena are having an affair. After school, Jonas brings Nina to his parents' house with the intention of selling it. But he hugs Nina and breaks down in tears because he misses his youth. They then begin kissing one another. Nina promises that she won't ever leave Jonas. The 50th anniversary of Jonas' school follows. And Friedrich is invited as a special guest because he previously served as the school's principal. There is also Helena, who is glaring angrily at Friedrich. Frederick also loses consciousness when his eyes meet Helena's. When Nina notices this, her misgivings start to grow. Friedrich regains consciousness that same evening. When Nina sees Jonas, she informs him of the school. Due to the hellish rage she has witnessed in Friedrich's eyes, Nina believes that he and Helena are acquainted. Jonas finds all of this absurdity and disregards it. Nina is upset by this and storms out of the door with Jonas. The following morning, Helena is already in his bed when Jonas awakens. Helena gets ready and leaves her house before anyone can see her. However, Nina witnesses him leaving Jonah's house and is convinced of her suspicions. Nina apparently goes right to school. Jewel learns about Helena and Jonah's relationship from Nina. Jewel then tells a lengthy anecdote. She was instructed by a teacher who resembled Helena many years ago, when Julie's father was a student. The brain of Nina glistens. The old school yearbooks, in Nina's opinion, contain a lot of secrets. Helena also pays attention to her when she asks the school librarian about the yearbooks. When Jonas arrives at school at the same time, he announces loudly that Nina is in the library and rushes to meet her. Before Nina can take any action, Nina discovers a photo of a woman in the 1985 yearbook who resembles Helena exactly. Helena arrives and strangles Nina, then hides the body in the library and throws it there. Whenever Jonas visits the library in search of Nina, when the school is empty, Helena tells him a lie that Nina must leave for home. She places Nina's body in her van after wrapping it in a cloth. She then departs from Nina's body and cycles in a remote area by the sea. The same evening, Jonas calls his parents' house and inquires about Nina with Helena. Nina, according to Helena, is envious of both her and Jonas' relationship and is probably somewhere riding her bicycle. Jonas receives wine from Helena. Helena declares she will only be friends moving forward. As she leaves, she is kissed by Jonas after he takes her hand. 
Helena and Jonas carry out their customary action jointly. In the wee hours of the morning, Jonas visits his home. He can find Friedrich waiting for him. They take him as well and are aware of Jonas' affair. However, Jonas has lost interest. The following morning, Jonas finds out that Nina's body has been discovered. He goes to the beach with Friedrich where he meets his friends and Nina's mother. But soon after, Friedrich passes out and changes into Florian, and Jonas rushes them to the hospital while he and his friends look through the yearbook for something. But someone must have destroyed the page where Nina first saw the image. The photo Nina had seen was of Maria Roth, a German teacher who had drowned. It is then revealed when the three of them open the old documents on the school's computer. However, Helena, who was injured after falling on the beach, has joined Friedrich in the hospital, so he is not there by himself. Frederick is unable to call for assistance because his tongue is amputated. Helena tells them that she is Maria Roth, Frederick's daughter, and gives them an angry look. Maria and Friedrich once shared the role of his mother. However, Friedrich abandoned Maria after learning that she was expecting a child. She adored Friedrich, but he valued his independence and refused to have children outside of marriage. Maria drowned herself to death. Helena killed Jonah's parents when she was only four years old, and she will now kill Jonas. She is here to exact revenge for her mother's passing. Jonas returns home, falls asleep, and wakes up the next morning. Friedrich has moved to the living room as a result, and Helena brings his grandfather home with the doctor's approval. Jonas then queries Helena, his mother Maria Roth. Helena promises to tell him the entire tale while sipping coffee. While bringing the coffee, she also adds some white powder to Jonas's mug. Helena's strategy is unknown. She positions Friedrich's bed in front of the window so she can observe Jonas's situation because she had previously seen his mother die. A small amount of coffee causes Jonah's body to malfunction. After telling Jonas about her mother, Helena makes an attempt to drown him in the pond. But when Helena hears something breaking from the Jonas house, she is distracted from Jonas. When Jonas notices that his grandfather has fallen off the bed, he makes his way out of the pond and into the house. But soon after, Helena shows up and begins to attack Jonas before strangling him. In order to save Helena's life, Jonas picks up a piece of glass and slams it into her chest. The movie ends right here.